Hey gang, uh, since I have my own fan four stick already, you know, fan casted, why not <laughs> just fan cast some other villains? Uh, just fan cast the rogues gallery, and nobody asked for this. I'm only doing this because I have no life. So, um, whether you like it or not, this video is, uh, now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just, just be ready to sit through my babbling. Okay. Now, I won't talk about Kang the Conqueror, since he's already been casted as Jonathan Majors, which I wouldn't change at all, since he's a amazing actor, and he's going to totally make this role one of the best villains in the whole MCU. Up there with Thanos, I'd say. This is a spoiler warning to Loki. If you haven't seen it, fast forward, please. Please. Okay, moving on. But since we've already seen a variant of him, I have no doubt that when he does play King the Conqueror, like what we think he is, like the murderous, time-traveling murderer villain, he's going to rock it. Okay, he's, he's going to be great. Now, for the first villain we'll be talking about, is Psycho Man. I think the best... First, let me give you the abilities he has. He is genius level intellect, okay? Uh, he has powerful armor, possesses a futuristic space vessel, emotion manipulation via emotion controlling device. I think this would be something very very cool that could almost um tear apart the fantastic four i could see this in the fantastic four too if i'm going to be honest mentally like he could tear apart the team um and i think the only man who could play psycho man in such a um huge level would be anthony star we've already seen him as a homelander and we've seen him uh get inside people's head as Homelander inside the boys and I think he would do phenomenal okay he would do phenomenal now for a second villain Annihilus I feel like Mark Hamill would do an amazing job I mean he would bring so much fear and if Mark Hamill was casted Kevin listen up I know you're watching this Kevin listen up Okay? Listen! If you cast Mark Hamill as a nihilist, you could have something great here. We've already seen his maniacalness with Joker, okay? We've already seen how crazy he can go with that. Put him as a nihilist. Give him the threat of taking over Earth with his army of just... Oh my god! Now for our next villain, Galactus. I have one actor in mind, and that is Gus himself, Gustavo Fring. Yes! <laughs> he would be perfect. He'd be menacing. He would be world-threatening, okay? I've said enough. He, he's a god. Now, for Mole Man, there's really only one man that could play this character. Cue the crappy edit. The rest. Gross. Ah! What, 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 what? Oh, God! Cue! Oh, my appendix! I'm sorry. My wound hasn't so healed sorry. yet. I'm sorry. Oh, man! I'm so sorry, I forgot. You alright? Uh. You okay? I just think it'd be funny to see him in there, you know, fighting <laughs> <think> John Krasinski. <laughs> For Super Scroll, I can really see Jamie Campbell Power um, just dominate this role. We've seen him play number one. Really terrifying, by the way. And with him, you know, having shape shifting powers and turning into whoever he wants, I mean, he would just 
go crazy with this. Yeah, I, I would really like to see him in this role. Do it, Kevin. Do it. <laughs> that is all for this video. If you guys want another one like this, um, just comment down below if you want one. Do whatever. Subscribe, like. I don't care. Um, I do have a plan to um, recreate, uh, not create, but recorrect my own uh, universe. Sounds really bad, but I, I, oh, I said it earlier, I have nothing to do. So, um, yeah, it's going to be end for today's video. So, uh, see you in the next one.